Well, hello there, everybody. Dre here, and welcome back to Teardown. Today, we're out with some more Teardown mods, and I thought it'd be fun to start off with a giant city. Well, actually, technically, it's a miniature city. It doesn't really look like it right now, but we are a giant in this world. I thought this would be a fun map to start on. It looks fantastic, and uh, it's got vehicles where we can slowly destroy miniature apartments. All right, let's see if we can go down this way. This is just gonna be as dangerous, probably. Oh, give it gas. Oh, damn it, the damn bowling ball thing's in the way. We got some pyramids over here, so that looks fun. I can actually drive this around. What's inside the pyramids? Is there any mummies? I don't think there's actually an inside. I think it's just all pyramid. Okay, now it feels like I'm playing Minecraft, though. This is fun. What I truly have to know is, are these real UFOs? So let's see if we can... Oh, God, it's glass. It's glass! Oh, gee! <laughs> Watch out, pyramids! Oh, and they say the aliens didn't invent the pyramids. I think not. That was obviously proof right there. I have been playing with this for a while now, and I just now realized it's inside castle walls. What? What is the story behind this thing? Why is there a boat out here? Why is the wall cracked? Oh, well, that makes sense. I guess that's what that, that boulder is. I don't know clearly the, the story behind this thing. And welcome to Breath of the Teardown, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, this is Hyrule from Breath of the Wild, and somebody has ported it over to tear down. I thought I would just quickly show you this because it's so cool to look at. Now, they did have to resize it, obviously, because there's limitations in tear down. So I don't really know what you could use this for. It's hard to even walk around half the time, but it's just really cool to see this from a distance and uh, appreciate all the small details here. Okay, and this next mod looks fantastic. So it's made by Chijins, and it's probably the coolest vehicles as well as vehicle map that I've seen yet. Obviously, we got some war hogs here so we have the machine gun version and then the rocket version as well and um yeah as you can probably tell you can shoot with these ones which is fantastic also it's got the the warthog steering so it's got like uh monster truck steering so back and front turn so a little hard to get used to because it's very easy to spin it out but that's the way a warthog should be it should be extremely maneuverable and uh this game is no different i really want to want to try this jump Oh, damn it. Oh, am I still gonna make it? That was close. Oh, God. This is just so cool, though. So he's still working on these. I should mention that. He wants to make the turrets uh, rotatable. Right now, they only shoot in a straight line. Still really fun to use, but obviously, once you can rotate them, it will be fantastic. All right, we have to try out the rockets, though. Looks like we got a few guys over there. There we go. That should be enough. Oh, my God. It's surprisingly... Because it's, uh, the, the shots are so spread, it's not too hard to aim, even considering you can't, you know, rotate this thing. It, obviously, you gotta back up a bit because it's got a bit of a bullet drop, but once you get used to where you should be aiming, it's not too bad at all. Let's see if we can wall ride this gap with a warthog. Oh, unfortunately, it flips itself. Can I land it, though? Good enough for me. So yeah, by far some of the most fun vehicles I've seen yet. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited about weaponized vehicles. They can't come quick enough. Okay, this next one gets me a little excited. This is the Panzer Kampfwagen 4 Type V um, from Girls on Panzer, which was a tank-based anime with cute anime girls. It was a little weird, but what makes me more excited is the detail of this thing. Look at this. Look at, look at, look at, look at, look at. Look, we can go inside! And I don't know if you've noticed, but we can also fire the rocket. Now, you're supposed to be able to control the turret. Um, can we actually open the back? This is obviously the engine compartment. This is so cool to me. If you don't know, I'm a bit of a tank nerd. So having one that I can actually maneuver inside with um, is fantastic. So here we have the machine gunner's hatch, probably. Usually the commander stands at the top as a lookout. Obviously the driver's hatch over here. Now you can go to first person, and this is what it is like inside of a tank. But I don't know if you saw that. Oh, remember how I was saying I can't wait till we get uh, vehicles that have ro rotatable turrets that you can shoot? Well, now we have them. It doesn't look like I can actually shoot while I'm the driver, which I kind of appreciate because we have to get to the gunner's seat to shoot this thing. <laughs> so I'm never going to see where I'm shooting, but I guess, you know, it's just accurate. Oh, this is so freaking cool, though. I kind of wish you had the option to shoot while uh, you were in here. It doesn't look like the bullets go that far, just judging by the shots here. Let's see if we can actually blow something up with this. So I'm going to aim this up. <laughs> I'm going to judge that that's probably going to hit it. Now i got to go to the other seat because I don't have a team. I'm all by my lonesome. And I think it hit something. Oh, damn it. 
All right, there we go. And direct hit. Where is it shooting from? It looks to be like right to the side here. I guess they can't maybe put the rockets inside of a structure or it maybe blows up the structure. I don't know why else it wouldn't be directly on the turret. But this is just so cool. Now there is more hatches you can get in. I know there's probably a driver's hatch. And yes, indeed there is. So I can get out here if I want to, but there's supposed to be three hatches. So I'm trying to figure out where the other one is. Maybe just on the other side. Yeah, so we have three usable hatches. I can't seem to open this one, but it's definitely a hatch. This is just so cool to see though. I appreciate that it's also, was that made out of? Did we get ammo racked there or something? That was so weird. But yeah, I pre what I was trying to say is I appreciate that this thing is the size of a tank as well. It's not, you know, just slightly bigger than an SUV. It's an absolutely mammoth of a beast. And we blew it up again. Okay, I, I don't know what's blowing up, if it's the vehicles or if it's the tank, but God damn it, that's cool. I, uh... I'm getting kind of worried about the creator of this, the, of this man. He's, he's kind of taking it a little far as you can see. Oh my God, Kinder Eggs! Oh my God, he's got food now? This is, this is fantastic. I'm more uh, curious about the egg surprises though. What's inside? Oh my God, my childhood. So for you Americans who can't enjoy the pleasures of Kinder Eggs, these are things with toys inside. Um, it was actually illegal in um, America to use them. Oh my God. <laughs> There's a little man inside of my Kinder Egg. This is, oh God, already I'm in love with this. Holy crap. But yeah, they were illegal in America. I think they're technically legal now, so I don't know if they're popular there or not, but they're fantastic. Are they all just humans? I want like a crappy puzzle so I can get depressed because everybody knows the puzzles are the worst ones. Come on. Okay, yep, they're definitely all humans. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I found a female this time. Well, that's exciting. Collect them all, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, what the hell? Are you serious, though? Are you? So we got spikes over here. We can hang the guy. Wait, can I actually light his smoke? Oh, my God. All right, so I made the one guy smoke. I was wondering if this would fill up with smoke or something. Maybe it will. We'll let him finish his cigarette. I can feed this guy. All right, you're a bit tall, but I'm gonna do my best. Sorry, dude, I just hit you in the nose. This is why you shouldn't smoke, by the way, guys. Okay, this is this is impossible to feed this man. All right, let's get something smaller. I, I guess you'll have to be on a diet today. I just wanna feed him to see what happens. There we go. Did it, does it come down? Are you cho- oh, he's choking on it, oh God. I better feed him whatever the hell this is so he can get better. <laughs> I love the smoker, he's slowly just burning alive. There we go. All right, I'm very bad at aiming up for the whole food feed thing. There we go, look it. It's too bad he didn't like design this like an actual stomach. I don't understand what the smoker's supposed to be. By the way, I don't know how to throw these things. I wonder if I just gotta break the glass. That That's probably it. All right, so what, what am I supposed to do? Like save this guy or are these just things to throw if you want to throw them? I'll, I will save you. That didn't help, did it? All right, I have to save this guy. I feel way too bad about this. Can I please just save you? There you go, buddy. Yes. By the way, I don't know if you've noticed, but the guy now has actual movable limbs. So a lot has been going on since we last checked out this place. Holy crap, I didn't even notice this. Is this, is this drivable? <laughs> I can, I can drive the man. I appreciate the man wheels. Oh, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Oh God. Oh God, the view. Well, I didn't know where I would be, but um, I gotta say, I'm not, I'm not surprised with this thing. Sorry, dude, I can't see what the hell I'm doing. Oh God, I killed him. The hell am I backing up into? What, where did you come from? I am so sorry. All right, let's get out of this before I kill anybody else. Jesus Christ. I gotta try these though. Like, look at this. This is just great. All right, there we go. There. Oh. Oh, Jesus. Holy crap. That was actually amazing. Okay, let's try this again. I really wish I didn't have to shoot him to make his physics go, but. Oh my God. This is sick. Like, I understand it's just a bunch of voxels, but still. These are perfectly placed. So that one was a bit forward. This one looks to be a bit backward. So this is gonna be gross, but. Oh, oh my God. We also have a Rubik's cube. Why not, right? I mean, this thing has everything else. I appreciate this too, so you can kind of see how it's designed. So if you don't know, I've already showcased this mod. It was very basic before. So yes, it's a fully skeletized human that you can destroy. And I don't know who this man is, but he's here as well. 
Sorry. Oh, I didn't even notice that this was something that I can use. Okay. Here it goes. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, the skid with all the guts and everything. Dude, this is so fun. Is 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 that wrong? I didn't even see this one over here. There's too much to do here. What happens to you when I engage you, buddy? Oh. You're you're just like, you're just like a bungee jumper. Well, this one was much more innocent than any of the other ones. All right, let's see if I can make him do like a flip or something. So I'm going to try and shoot this off. There we go. Come on. Yeah, do a flip. Oh, that's... Whoops. Oh, these are so much more cool now that they have joints, though. Before, it was just like a rigid man. Now, you can actually do some serious destruction to these things. Oh, my God. All right, I'm going to take a break from playing with the weird man and uh, check out this. Now, this is actually my idea, and Tree Burgers was nice enough to... Uh, Create it for me, essentially. As you can tell, it is a giant blender. It is the Drayblade 2000. So, of course, I want to thank Tree for taking the time to actually design this thing, because I am not a designer at all, obviously. I just I destroy things, not design them. But, yeah, we have a speed forward. Um, and then you can just keep going and going and going. It seems a little bit squeaky. Yeah, it's definitely a little bit squeaky. What happens if we go in? Whoa, okay. But yeah, it's a grinder, so let's start off soft and uh, go a little crazier sooner or later. So yeah, a van. Why not try that first? So we'll just put that in here. There we go. Use my little escape door so we don't die. And we'll just go slow for the start here. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna enjoy playing with this. <laughs> Stupid. All right, let's let's throw a tank into the mix and you know what? Let's put a transport truck in there as well I have an iron deficiency, so I need as much iron as possible. Oh god. Okay. You know what? We'll just keep that up there We'll see if it falls. All right. We're just gonna go. Let's go crazy fast oh, This is oh god it came out that door is a little bit dangerous. Oh, it's it's beautiful though. Look at it. Okay, it's starting to break it out of the glass. <laughs> There's smoke going everywhere. Oh, I got to fill this thing up. I mean, it's it's too good not to fill it up. Look at this. What is that noise? Well, I didn't expect to be seeing this guy all already again, but of course we got to try it. Whoops. That um Well, he's already blended up, isn't he? All right. Well, unfortunately, I have to like throw it, so this will just have to do. We'll just fill it up with a few good men. Okay, there we go. That should be good. Oh my god, it broke the glass. That's fine. We'll break it some more right now anyways. Oh my god. I just love that it actually kind of works. Like, it does grind them down. Tree Burgers knows me so well, he actually spawned some naked men as well, so we'll bring them over here. So yeah, this should be fun too. What the... Again, Tree? Okay, I feel like he's trolling me at this point. I swear, guys, I'm not a bad driver. Tree just likes to, like, ruin the wheels on these things. All right, we made it. One should do. I just want to see a full human get blended. Oh, perfect. Okay, so obviously we're going to break it when it falls down, but let's just appreciate this. <laughs> it might not break because part of the vehicles are indestructible. Oh, uh, we're going to have to speed it up, maybe. It's actually stuck. Oh, Come on, there we go, get it in there. All right, I filled it with a few more men. Oh my God, I just love it. I don't know why, but there's something about a giant blender that is just so freaking fun. <laughs> Where'd the car go? Oh God. All right, guys, and on that, we're gonna wrap up another episode of Teardown Modding here. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, having some fun with some more crazy Teardown creations. I gotta say, uh, this was a pretty chaotic episode, but that's the definition of a good Teardown Modding episode, and I had a blast playing with these things. I want to thank Tree Burgers once again for making the Drayblade 2000. I'll have a link to his channel down below, by the way. He's doing Teardown content as well, so if you want to check it out, go ahead. And as always, I attained all these mods on the official Teardown Discord, which will be in the description of this video as well. Thank you so much for watching and liking, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.